I want to share something with you here. This is put together by Chris Siliza, CNN's editor at large. The full audio of that call that the orange filth made to Raffensperger is available at Washington Post website. If you want to listen to it. Siliza writes, I went through the transcript of the call and pulled out the lines you need to see. And here they are. Number one. This is Trump. We won substantially, very substantially in Georgia. You even see it by the rally size. Frankly, we'd be getting 25 to 30,000 people a rally and the competition would get less than 100 people. End quote. The answer to that, Siliza writes, well, then I'm convinced. Trump has always been entirely convinced that having large rallies equals winning of course, even if Trump had 30,000 people at a rally, that's roughly six-tenths of 1% of the 5 million votes cast in Georgia this fall. Math. Damn stuff. Here's another one. Trump. This is from the phone call. We have at least two or three, anywhere from 250 to 300,000 ballots were dropped mysteriously into the rolls much of that had to do with Fulton County, which hasn't been checked, end quote. Nobody knows what Trump is talking about with that. So Liz writes, my guess is that he is equating the entirely legitimate process of early votes being tabulated and included in the statewide totals as being mysteriously dropped. Now, granted, these, these sentences from Trump, and they get worse, that I'm sharing with you, have no basis in, in, in reality, common sense, logic, nothing. These are the ramblings and the ravings of someone who's completely fucking insane. Number three, Trump says, quote, we think that if you check the signatures, a real check of the signatures going back in Fulton County, you'll find at least a couple of hundred thousand of forged signatures of people who have been forged. Utter bullshit. Number four, quote, but it's much more than the number of 11,779. That's the current margin is only 11,779. End quote. That is the only true statement he said. Number five, quote, but you also have a substantial number of people, thousands and thousands who went to the voting place on November 3rd. were told they couldn't vote. We were told they couldn't vote because a ballot had been put on their name. End quote. You see what I'm saying? Bullshit. Number six, quote, late in the morning, they went early in the morning, they went to the table with the black robe, the black shield, and they pulled out the votes. Those votes were put there a number of hours before the table was put there, end quote. Number seven, quote, they weren't in an official voter box, but they were in what looked like to be suitcases or trunks, suitcases, but they weren't in voter boxes. The minimum number it could be because we watched it and they watched it certified in slow motion, instant replay, if you can believe it, but slow motion. And it was magnified many times over and the minimum, it was 18,000 ballots all for Biden, end quote. Slow motion replay? Number eight, quote, you had out-of-state voters. They voted in Georgia, but they were from out-of-state of 4,925. You had absentee ballots sent to vacant. They were absentee ballots sent to vacant addresses. <laughs> End quote. Number nine, quote, 
And I know you would like to get to the bottom of it, although I saw you on television today and you said that you found nothing wrong. I mean, you know, and I didn't lose the state, Brad. End quote. I saw you on television today. Hmm. Number 10, people have been saying that it was the highest foe ever. There was no way. A lot of political people said that there's no way they beat me. End quote. Number 11, as you know, every single state, we won every single state. End quote. Number 12. And we won the House, but we won every single state house. And we won Congress, which was supposed to lose 15 states. And they gained, I think, 16 or 17 or something. End quote. Number 13. Quote. So dead people voted. And I think the number is close to 5,000 dead people. End quote. Number 14, quote, the bottom line is when you add it all up and then you start adding, you know, 300,000 fake ballots, end quote. Number 15, quote, and this may or may not because this just came up this morning that they are burning their ballots and they're shredding, shredding ballots and removing equipment. End quote. 16, quote, you're not the only one. I mean, we have other states that I believe will be flipping to us very shortly. End quote. Uh, can we see a list of those states, orange asshole? No? Okay. Number 17, quote, but in Detroit, we had, I think it was 139% of the people voted. That's not too good. Um, end quote. Turnout in Detroit, by the way, was 51% of eligible voters, which, by the way, is less than 139%, but, you know. Number 18, quote, in Pennsylvania, they had well over 200,000 more votes than they had people voting, end quote. Um... No, they didn't. Number 19. Quote, but uh, they had as an example in Michigan, a tremendous number of dead people that voted. End quote. Nah, bro. No, they didn't. Uh, number 20. Quote. And we won the state, and we won it very substantially and easily, and we're getting, we have, much of this is a very low, you know, they're certified, far more certified than we need, end quote. Far more certified than we need, uh, okay. Number 21, but we only lost the state by that number, 11,000 votes and 779 uh, so the 11 is in the thousands column and seven is in the hundreds column and seven in the tens column and nine is in the ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number 22, quote, because what's the difference between winning the election by two votes and winning it by half a million votes? I think I probably did win it by half a million. End quote. Um, I thought it was 11,770. Number 23. Quote, and they say it's not possible to have lost Georgia, end quote. Well, if they say it, eh? Number 24. Quote, and the people of Georgia are angry. The people of the country are angry. And there's nothing wrong with saying, you know, um, that you've recalculated. End quote. This is where the president of the United States is suggesting that Georgia's top election officials um, redo the results of the vote that has already been certified and validated. Uh, typical Trump shit. Number 25. Quote. They did it in slow motion replay magnified, right? 
end quote. Oh, my God. 26, quote, where were the poll watchers and why did they say a water main broke, which they did and which was reported in the newspapers? They said they left. They ran out because of a water main break and there was no water main. There was nothing. There was no break. End quote. Um, um, I don't know how to respond to that. Number 27, quote, there's no way I lost Georgia. There's no way. We won by hundreds of thousands of votes, end quote. Yeah, you've said that a few times now, you sick son of a bitch. Number 28, quote, oh, this isn't social media. This is Trump media. It's not social media. It's really not. It's not social media. I don't care about social media. I don't care about social media. <laughs> Donald Trump? <laughs> the orange pig? Number 29. And they're going around playing you and laughing at you behind your back, Brad, whether you know it or not. They're laughing at you. And you've taken a state that's a Republican state and you've made it almost impossible for a Republican to win because of cheating, because they cheated like nobody's ever cheated before. End quote. Well, as Chris points out, that's a common Trump tactic to bend people to his viewpoint. People are laughing at you behind your back, which is obviously something he worries a lot about for himself and he thinks others do too. Mm. Number 30, quote, and you're going to find out that they are, which is totally illegal. It is more illegal for you than it is for them because you know what, what they did and you're not reporting it. That's a criminal. That's a criminal. And you can't let that happen. That's a big risk to you and to Ryan, your lawyer, end quote. And that's Trump not so subtly threatening the Secretary of State of Georgia and his attorney, Ryan Germany, that in defending this allegedly corrupt election, that they are putting themselves in some sort of legal jeopardy. Ah. Number 31. These are, these are all statements that Chris Eliza took out of the transcript of Trump's phone call with the Secretary of State on Saturday. There were 17 other calls, but this is the one that has making headlines. Number 31, quote, and flipping the state is a great testament to our country because, because you know, this is, it's a testament that they can admit to a mistake or whatever you want to call it. End quote. So overturning a certified election result is actually a good thing for our country because it, um, it shows we can admit we made a mistake. <laughs> 32, quote, but I mean, all of this stuff is very dangerous stuff. When you talk about no criminality, I think it's very dangerous for you to try to say that, end quote. That feels rather ominous coming from the orange bastard, doesn't it? 33. Quote. But I'm just curious. Why wouldn't, why do you keep fighting this thing? It just doesn't make sense. We're way over the 17,779, right? Uh... Well, Orange Bastard, the reason the election officials keep fighting this thing in your words is because you don't get to overturn an election just because you don't like the result, you ignorant piece of shit, you. 34, quote, because you guys are so wrong and you treated this, you treated the population of Georgia so badly. You, between you and your governor, who is down at 21, he was down 21 points. And like a schmuck, I endorsed him and he got elected. But I'll tell you, he's a disaster. End quote. Um, I shouldn't do this, but back in November 2018, Trump said this about Brian Kemp when he was uh, running for the governorship. 
Trump said, quote, Brian Kemp is an incredible fighter and tireless champion for the people and values of Georgia, end quote. (laughs) Number 35, quote, and you would be respected, really respected, if this thing could be could be straightened out before the election. (laughs) End quote, before the election, Jesus Christ. Which is another classic Trump uh, bullshit ploy. If only you would overturn this election, people in Georgia would love you. They would respect you, provided you do it before the election. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Number 36, quote, They don't want to vote. They hate the state. They hate the governor and they hate the secretary of state. I will tell you that right now. The only people like you are people that will never vote for you. End quote. What the fuck? The suggestion here is that if Republicans lose the two Senate runoffs tomorrow, it's because of Raffenberger refusal to give the state to Trump. Uh, okay. Number 37, and this is the last one. Quote, and the real truth is I won by 400,000 votes, at least. That's the real truth, but we don't need 400,000. We need less than 2,000 votes, end quote. I thought he needed 11,779. Now it's 2,000. How did that happen? Or why did that happen? Yeah, this is a good place to end uh, my quotes of uh, the Orange Bastards transcript. Good God. I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I, well, I have, I can't say anything. A podcaster, a, a, a talk show person, moi, who all of a sudden is speechless. Bleh. No words. I know. Let me talk about River Moon Coffee real quick. Please go to my website, (laughs) MikeMalloy.com. Click on the link to River Moon Coffee or take a subscription to this podcast or sign up for Patreon or do you want to go play some football or let me see. It's Monday and the birds are all out. Oh, look, there's a cloud. (sighs) (sighs) <sighs> it, 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 I, I, do you laugh? Do you scream? Do you choke on your own bile? I mean, what do you do in a situation like this? Somebody, please tell me what to do. I probably should take that back. I'll get too many people who will tell me what to do. Go fucking kill yourself, Malloy. <laughs> Oh, dear God. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com. And never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.